Hello, sports fans, and particularly White Sox fans. I got a White Sox update for you. Small, quick video, just to update you on a couple of quick things. Number one is the managerial shirt search. Now, as you know, we let Ricky Renneria walk, so we are looking for a new manager. Unfortunately, if you saw my last video about Ricky Renneria's firing, I had mentioned that there was a possibility that the White Sox would talk to Tony La Russa, which I was not happy about. And they are. You can't handle the truth! They have sought permission from, I believe it's the Angels, to talk with him about the open managerial job. Now, and you can see that up here, I've got managerial search, I've got Tony La Russa, listed first, so we'll talk about him. As you remember, Tony La Russa did manage the White Sox, but it wasn't recently. It was in the 80s. And then they let him go, and Reinsdorf has regretted it ever since, and so now I guess he sees this as a chance to rectify a mistake. Except that now, Tony La Russa is 76 years old, so hiring him would be a mistake, in my opinion. So, he is a consideration. Um, there's, you know, we're not gonna go in, in, he's got countless accolades. He's a Hall of Fame manager, for sure. Uh, was inducted a few years ago, actually, and um, I think I was, no. I had gone a couple of days before the induction ceremonies, um, with a friend of mine just to go to the Hall of Fame. But, um, so I don't think I was at that one. I don't think. So anyway, uh, but he is, in the, he's a Hall of Fame manager. He's won World Series with uh, the A's and I believe with the Cardinals. So yeah, okay, he was good, but does he still have his mental faculties about him? I mean, that's a question. So, we'll have to see what happens with that. Apparently, they are talking to him, um, and he is somebody of interest for the job. As you can see right under him, I've got A.J. Hinch. I have kind of gotten the impression that they are interested in A.J. Hinch and that he would be somebody they would be talking to, um, but... They can't talk to A.J. Hinch at all until after the World Series. So that remains to be seen. Are they going to actually talk to A.J. Hinch? Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. We will see. But I think that they definitely um, should talk to him and want to hire him. Now, they have put out some parameters for who they're looking for. They're looking for a manager with experience. They're looking for someone um, with a uh, with a World Series or winning record, like very good um, record, maybe getting a team to the postseason type of record, something like that. They're not looking for like some new untested guy like Rocco Baldelli was when the Twins hired him. They don't want that. They want somebody who's been there, been around the block, done it, been to the World Series or or to the playoffs, that type of thing. A.J. Hinch is perfect, fits that mold. Unfortunately, so does La Russa. And they haven't said that the guy has to be relatively young, like A.J. Hinch is. So, as far as we know, La Russa is a possibility. The next thing to talk about is the Gold Glove Contenders. Now, I've only got a few positions up here because these are the only positions that White Sox players are contending for for Gold Glove in the American League. If you want to see the other positions, that's fine. Go look them up because they don't have any White Sox. The first one is Catcher, and the notable thing about Catcher is we have two guys who are in the running for Gold Glove at Catcher, McCann and Grandall. And then also the reigning Gold Glover at Catcher, Roberto Perez of Cleveland. 
So those are the three that are up for the gold glove in um, at catcher. I like our chances of a White Sox person getting it because we have two of three candidates. Then you got the second base gold glove is up between Mendick and Cesar Hernandez of the Indians and um, Nicky Lopez of Kansas City and then uh, Jonathan Scope of Detroit. So we'll see who wins it. I don't know that they would give it to Scope because he was on a terrible team. I don't know if that really factors in because I know you know, like MVP, sometimes people say don't give it to a guy on a losing team because, you know, I don't know. So I don't know if there's a stigmatism about that or not. So we'll see. But hey, Mendick is in the running. And then at third base, Moncada is our uh, candidate for the gold glove at third base. And he is also in competition with... Kiner Falefa of Texas and Ursula of New York. Now, I was unaware that Kiner Falefa is some kind of gold glove third baseman. I, you know, but of course, we didn't have much occasion to watch the AL West because we didn't play the AL West, so I don't know. Maybe he is. Ursula, I have heard that he is a good third baseman. Um, I've seen people talk about how good he is at third. So we'll see if Moncada can beat out one of those two guys. And then in center field, our rookie center fielder, rookie sensation, Lewis Robert. And he will be up for the gold glove in center field with, against, uh, Loriano of Oakland and uh, Byron Buxton of the Twins. Now another thing that's notable about this list is look at all the guys from the AL Central. For these specific positions, there's a ton. All three at catcher, Mendick, Hernandez, Lopez, and Scope, all of them at second base. Moncada um, is the only one for third. And then uh, Robert and Buxton for center field. So that's quite a few for these positions that the White Sox are contending for uh, somebody at the gold glove. So, you know, I, it seems like we're going to come away with one or two gold gloves from this list because, you know, like I said, catcher, we got 67% of the candidates. So anyway, that's just a quick video, let you know what's going on. Not a lot going on except for the World Series where right now, as I am recording this, although this could have changed because this is earlier in the day on Monday, uh, but at the moment, the Dodgers have a three games to two lead on Tampa Bay. If they win tonight, they win the World Series. If they lose, it will go to a game seven. And oh, by the way, I predicted that LA would win the World Series in, in six. So if LA wins, the night of this video. The sportsman was right about that. So anyway, I uh, just want to let you know that. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts? You think we're going to take a couple of these? Maybe run the board and take them all? I don't know. Who knows? Could happen. Um, and what do you think the chances of Tony La Russa getting the managerial position are? I hope they're not good, but who knows? You know? We could have him, had him in the 80s, and now again we have him in the 2020s. I hope not, but we'll see. So that's it for me right now. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.